everyone and welcome! Vasco here from the Angular University and in this lesson we are going to learn how to set up an index route and a fallback route for our application and why that is important. It's coming right up. So let's start with the index route. Whenever you go to the root of your application you probably want to display something to the user but with our current configuration that is not the case because the root route or the index route does not get associated or it's not matched with any of the routes that we have currently configured. So let's add some configuration to it, let's add it an index route and we are going to give it an empty path. We are also going to give it the home component. In an upcoming lesson we are going to see how we could have done this in another way. Let's try this out. So if we access the root URL of our application we get displayed the home component which is the expected behavior. Now, what happens if we type some other URL that is not mapped to any route? What is the current behavior? What happens is that we get an error in the console saying that we could not find a match for this URL in the route configuration. If we want a better user experience, we can redirect the user to, for example, the home component. For that, we need to configure a fallback route. So let's do that. The path of the fallback route is the double star wildcard and this is going to match all URLs. We are going to give it for the moment the all lessons component. Let's try this out. If we now type an unknown URL, we should be redirected to the all lessons component. And that is the case. Let's now just make the fallback component the home component instead of all lessons. Now what we might not have noticed before is that in the routing configuration, the order matters, the order is very important. So let's say that for example we take the fallback route and we put it as the first item in our configuration. Let's try this out. If we now click around the same links that were working before, we can see that everything is being redirected to the home component. That's because the routes are searched for a match in the order in which they are defined and so the first match is always the fallback route. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you can always subscribe to my channel for more upcoming Angular 2 tutorials. Also, have a look at the website of the Angular University to see what type of Angular 2 tutorials you find there that you might like. So make sure that you always put the fallback route as the last entry in your configuration. And so our routing configuration is now at a good starting point. You might have noticed that when we click around the top menu, that the current menu gets highlighted in red. How did we do that? That's what we're going to find out in the next lesson.